As I'm sure you know by now, this channel is a huge advocate for all things glass skin, glass makeup, glass skincare. I got this comment and I honestly really just chuckled to myself. So much so that I almost sat down today and filmed a video on how to get dry, cracky, flaky, uneven skin. However, I sat down and I thought about it and I realized, you know, not everybody's going to be in favor of that glazed look. Some of us have oily skin. I have normal to dry skin. So any hydration, I love. But I thought today, instead of doing an ultra glowy look, which is what I've been doing for like the past year or two, I thought it would be fun to sit down today and film a satin, buttery, velvety makeup look. Now, if you didn't know this, a lot of people People who are getting their car wrapped go with satin okay they don't want gloss they don't want matte satin is the perfect in between I've pretty much already prepped my skin I washed my face I put down a few layers of serum but I'm gonna just take this moisturizer by Chondo and just reapply it to give me a nice fresh base so I thought the perfect foundation for this look would be the house labs foundation this is a natural finish but on my face I feel like it really gives me like a nice satiny glow this is one of my favorite foundations of all time by the way all I'm gonna do is take two pumps of that and I'm gonna just take a buffing brush and warm it up into my hand and I'm going to distribute this product evenly around the skin and on my neck as well the finish of this foundation is so beautiful and just like they claim very skin like I do know that this is infused with skincare like ingredients as well and you can tell it just looks like skincare and foundation mixed together i'm going to bronze up the face with this cream contour by merit and i don't want to be extremely contour heavy i'm just going to really focus this and stay true to where that line actually is no matter what size my forehead is i will always be adding some color i feel like it just really ties everything in and warms up the face so well i'm obsessed with this lancome tawny doll concealer it's such a beautiful watery consistency and I feel like I barely need to use any. Like honestly, even this was too much. You can just dot it on. Grabbing this hourglass brush and really just pressing that gently into the skin. One of the things that really inspired me to make this video are these lip and cheek pudding pots. This is by the brand FWEE. -E. These are so cool and actually so unique. And they really do give like a nice satin blurry effect. The consistency is like bouncy. It's so cool. Just going ahead and lining my lips. This is the Kosas lip liner in the shade Epic. Now look how blurry this product is this is the shade deer it's like a really pretty coral color and that's so pretty it like melts into your lip liner and I'm gonna just use whatever's left on my finger I feel like that just melted so well into my foundation it honestly did really blur out the skin I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury press powder and I'm just putting this on my t-zone area and that is it girlies just a really quick easy makeup look i feel really confident in this i don't feel like it's too much don't feel like it's too little let me know what you guys think of this down below i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye